of the things that we do most commonly in our practice is revision augmentation. So uh, people come in and they get their first augmentation. They might look great for a month. They could look great for a year. Some people go 30, 40 years still looking really good. At some point, people don't look as good as they did a month after surgery or six months after surgery. So breast implants are not meant to look great forever. Breast do not, they just don't hold up. So what are the, some of the, the things that we see? Uh, number one is implants will eventually leak over time. So about 1% per year will leak roughly. Um, and so people will come in uh, with a ruptured implant and they'll ask to have that fixed. Um, it's usually something that they don't feel and we can't feel. Uh, what'll happen is they'll turn 40 and they'll get a screening mammogram and the, and the breast might look good and they might feel good, but the mammogram reveals that there's a leak. Well, if there's a leak, the suggestion is always take out that implant and put new implants in. Um, and while we're doing that, we might the, the questions will be, do we use the same size implants? Do we downsize? Do we go bigger? Um, and if the person, if it's been long enough, the person might need new implants and a lift. So each the revision is, is always really tailored to what is the what are the patient's goals and what do they look like. Um, another thing that we do revisions for is bottoming out. So implants uh, over time have a tendency to settle down and sometimes out. So people come in saying, well, when I lay down at the beach or I lay down in bed, one or both of my implants drops out to the side. So we call that a malposition. So we have to do some things internally. We, adjust, we adjust the pocket so that the pocket is more appropriately positioned and therefore the implant is more appropriately positioned. Um, and then there's revisions for size issues. People decide they're too small or they're too big. Um, or one breast will, the, the nipple on one side might drop and so we have to do a lift on the other side. Sometimes instead of going out to the side, the implants, the, uh, the first surgeon uh, may have over dissected uh, this way. So a lot of patients come in with an emphasis, I want as much cleavage as possible. And the surgeon to try to fulfill that dream, dissects a little bit too much and the implants sort of can join into one implant called a, a synastia or one breast. And so sometimes we have to cre uh, create less cleavage, cleavage and create two breasts again and separate that. So there's a range of issues that, that people uh, would come to, to see us about, but it really comes down to is identifying what are, the, what are the patient's one, two, or three goals. And once you know their goals, the plan becomes really obvious.